Human body Circulatory system The circulatory system In humans, the circulatory system is the combined function of the heart, blood and blood vessels to transport oxygen and nutrients to the organs and tissues throughout the body and carry away waste products. The elements of this circulatory system are heart, blood vessels and blood. Heart The heart is a dark red conical structure located in the middle of the chest slightly towards the left side. It is enclosed by a double-walled membranous sac called the pericardium. The heart is the engine of the circulatory system. The heart is divided into four chambers. The two upper chambers are called left and right auricles and two lower left and right chambers are called ventricles. The walls of these chambers are made of a special muscle called mycocardium which contract continuously and rhythmically to pump blood. Functioning of the heart 1. The heart pumps blood to all parts of the body. 2. Pumps work simultaneously. 2. The right auricle takes in oxygen, poor blood, impure from the body, through two veins, superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. 3. From the right auricle, blood moves to the right ventricle and pumps it to the lungs through pulmonary artery where it exchanges carbon dioxide for oxygen. 4. The oxygenated blood, pure, then returns to the left auricle through pulmonary veins. From left auricle, blood moves into left ventricle. 5. Oxygen-rich blood leaves the left ventricle through iota. Iota and its arteries circulate the blood to all parts of the body. Know this. Average heart of man beats about 70 to 80 times in a minute. During each heartbeat, about 60 to 90 ml of blood is pumped out of the heart. If the heart stops pumping, death usually occurs within 4 to 5 minutes. Heartbeat there are two stages in each heartbeat cycle, the systole and the diastole. In diastole, the heart muscle relaxes and blood is drawn into the two auricles. Rising pressure in each auricle opens the tricuspid and mitral valves and blood flows into the ventricles. Each auricle contracts, filling the ventricles to full capacity. During the systole stage, the filled ventricles contract and the mitral and tricuspid valves close. The aortic and pulmonary valves are forced open and blood pushes out into the arteries. Then the heart relaxes. The aortic and pulmonary valves close and diastole starts again. Pulse Pulse is a rhythmic expansion of the arteries resulting from passage of successive flow of blood produced by continuing contractions of the heart. In disease, the pulse rate usually varies in direct ratio to the body temperature. Blood vessels The blood vessels are tube-like structures within which blood circulates. The blood vessels are of three types. 1. Arteries The blood vessels that carry away oxygenated blood, pure, from the heart to different parts of the body, are called arteries. They are lined with muscles to withstand pressure. 2. Veins The vessels that carry deoxygenated, impure blood from different parts of the body to the heart are called veins. They contain semilunar valves which prevent backward flow of the blood. 3. Capillaries The arteries are converted into fine tubules which are called arterioles and finally into capillaries which form a network. They are the tiny link between the arteries and the veins where oxygen and nutrients diffuse into the blood tissues. Differences between different blood vessels Arteries, veins, capillaries 1. Carry blood from the heart to other organs and body parts. Bring back blood to heart 
from other organs and body parts. Carry blood from arteries to veins. 2. Carry oxygenated blood. Carry deoxygenated blood. Carry both. 3. Thick muscular walls have no valves. Thick muscular walls have valves. Very thin made up of single have no valves. Note this. The circulatory system helps maintain body temperature. Blood vessels expand to release heat, allowing us to cool down and narrow or constrict to conserve heat. Blood Blood is a vital fluid found in humans and other animals that provide oxygen and important nourishment to all body organs and tissues and carry away waste materials. It is a complex, sticky fluid of deep red colour. An average healthy man has 6 to 7 litres of blood in the body. It is continuously circulated by the pumping action of the heart. Blood consists of two main parts. 1. A liquid part of the blood called the plasma. 2. A solid part called red blood cells or blood copper cells. Plasma Plasma constitutes the major part of the blood, which is about 55%. It is yellowish and consists of water, salts, proteins, vitamins, minerals, hormones, dissolved gases and fats. Functions The functions of plasma are 1. Plasma carries a large number of important proteins including albumin, gamma globulin and clotting factors such as prothrombin, fibronogen and heparin. 2. It helps to regulate the water content of tissues and blood. Blood cells or blood corpuscles Blood cells are of three kinds. 1. Red blood corpuscles Erthrocytes Red blood corpuscles, RBCs, are small-sized, biconcave discs which are without nuclei. RBCs make up almost 45% of the blood volume. A healthy man contains about 4 to 5 million red blood cells per milliliter of blood. RBCs are composed mainly of a protein and iron compound called hemoglobin. It captures oxygen molecules as the blood moves through the lungs, giving red color to the blood. Their primary function is to carry oxygen from the lungs to every cell in the body. 2. White blood corpuscles Leukocytes The white blood corpuscles are large irregular shaped nucleated structures. Their number varies from 5000 to 8000 per milliliter of blood. Their number increases during an infection in the body. These cells form antibodies which kill the antigens produced by the germs in the blood. 3. Platelets Thrombocytes The platelets are small, oval, colorless, flat, granular corpuscles which are without nuclei. At the time of injury, they help in the clotting of blood. Functions of the blood The main functions of blood are 1. Transport of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutrients and hormones to all parts of the body. 2. Maintains the water balance in the cells. 3. The circulatory system increases the flow of blood to meet the increased energy demands during exercise. 4. Regulates the body temperature. 5. Protects from harmful organisms like bacteria, virus and protozoa.